Hi guys, I am currently sitting in a car park. Bit of a strange place to start the vlog, but um, that's where I am today. The car park is just on the outskirts of London because um, we're going into London today. First of all, we thought we'd stop here because Tesco have actually released loads of new gluten-free products recently. They've got a, basically a whole new free from aisle and I've been going and looking at it quite a lot. And um, because we're in London, we thought, why not check out the free from aisle here? <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. There's so many products, but one of the things that does really frustrate me is that loads of the products me and Mark actually can't eat. And I know that sounds weird because it's a free from aisle, so it's got loads of gluten-free and dairy-free foods, but loads of them aren't low FODMAP, so it's really frustrating. And I really do hope that supermarkets and just general food brands realize that FODMAP is a thing and that they should sort of take that on board and try and make some more low FODMAP products because the only things that I can definitely eat in like a free from section are like the plain things like gluten-free pasta, um, that's pretty much it. There's not, there's not that much that I can eat. Even still, I thought we'd go in and maybe I'll show you a little bit of the aisle just in case you've not been in a Tesco before. Maybe you're from a different country. Um, so yeah. And also, just on that, thinking about different countries, I'd love to know if you are from somewhere else in the world, what your supermarket sort of free from section is like. Do you actually have a free from aisle? And yeah, is it is it better than ours? Is it the same as ours? Is it worse than ours? Let me know. Really like to hear your thoughts. Oh, and later we are actually going off into London, as I said, to an event with Sainsbury's, but I'll show you that when we get there. <laughs> is this Tesco bigger than ours? Yeah, like ten times as big as you. So this is what it looks like um, in our supermarket. This is all free from, so all gluten free and stuff. <laughs> this is what we have to have to choose from. So here we've got like gluten-free beers and stuff, got gluten-free pastas and sauces, like we've got breadcrumbs and stuff up there, gravies, crisps, cake mixes and flour and baking stuff. You have all the bars, biscuits and cakes, all this sort of stuff. More cakes and stuff, more cakes. Obviously in this country we love cake. Um, and then bread which we do have quite a lot of gluten-free bread th these days and it's all pretty good actually. I'm quite impressed with quite a lot of the brands. I have no complaints. But yeah, let me know what free from aisles are like in your country. What's gluten-free, what's dairy-free? Do you have a lot of it? Any low FODMAP? Yeah, any low FODMAP. I know Australia, Australia I've heard is quite good, so if you're from Australia, let me know. Very quickly, I just found because I never like to come when it's too busy. Um, it's our first time here since the fire that happened and lots of places that we love aren't open again. Like Cookies and Scream isn't open, Honest Burger's not open. Um, so yeah, you can have a look. Can you actually um, see in that window there? Oh yeah, so if you look up in that window there, it's uh, it looks so. pretty black and smoky and stuff. So uh, that's not good. 
But, um, you know, there's loads of places to eat here. There's Curb Canton here, the whole market. So we're going to have a look around. I know there's somewhere called Maze Blaze, which is supposed to be really good. Uh, I think it's Colombian. Yes, Colum I think, I think it's Colombian. Correct. And we're also going to try and go to somewhere called Nojo, which is a pancake place that yes. does gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan pancakes and stuff, because Mark is super hungry. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there now. So well they all look like that when yeah. it's done, they look really nice. That's how they're making them. Yeah, crazy. Leaving in one day, come and get a crepe before it's too late. Today is our final day of trading. Come down uh, to say goodbye because we'll miss you all. And uh, it was on the 2nd of September. Oh dear. I didn't realise. Now my hunger has increased. Yeah, we'll have to find somewhere else. I don't think the flower station, the flower station bakery is going to be great. Probably not for you. I thought it was so popular. Why would it close? It's because we'd never been before. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I'm just going to have to look around here and see what, what's around. Right, so we've come and found Maze Blaze and uh, they haven't opened yet. They're still, here's some of their boxes. So we're still on the hunt for something to eat. Being gluten free, dairy free and low FODMAP is a nightmare sometimes because I see all these signs on loads of these places that say that we can eat here but they're not open yet. So, problem. They are, okay, so soy free, gluten free and vegan. Wow, that's amazing. OC coconuts. I'll have one of those please if they're still open and anyone's around. Today's not going well for food, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I've got two places that one's not open, one's shut down, and one's empty. Yeah. <laughs> Will I ever get food? It's getting quite late. What's the time? I don't know. And the time is 25 past four. Wow. That's a bit late for lunch, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit late. What do you call this meal of the day? Um, when I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm super hungry and I need food and I don't know what to do. How are you guys? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, Is everything vegan and gluten free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based on your salt, caramel, uh, chocolate. It's coconut sugar with coconut cream and coconut milk. Oh, wow. Awesome. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. That was amazing. So cool that you can get that. Um, and they're just made of coconut. Yep. Literally everything is made from coconut, which is so cool. Um, but we've got a dash now. We are going over to the other side of London to this Sainsbury's event. And it's Gary's birthday. It's, it's can Gar you explain that? Because I kind of forgotten oh, yeah, what so, that means. So tonight is Gary's birthday party. Gary, if you don't remember, is the dairy-free vegan cheese name. That they... who, who called it Gary? I don't know. When I think of the word Gary, I think of that snail from SpongeBob SquarePants. Gary. That's what I always think of when I think of the word Gary or the name Gary. Um, but yeah, so we need to go over there. We're having Gary's birthday party. Should be fun. Don't know if we'll take you along. Maybe, but yeah. So what have we got here? 
Okay. It is a salmon and sea bass of Wellington served with some veggies, which looks amazing. It's all gluten free, all dairy free. Um, okay, so these are orange and cardamom infused chocolate tarts. Honestly, look amazing. Gluten free and dairy free as well. Look at that. Right, so we have another dessert here. What is this? This is a raw cheesecake, mixed berry, vanilla bean. Looks amazing. Mark's got a slice, which he's gonna have a try of now. Ooh. Nice. The top's like granita. Oh, is it? And you know how much I love that. Right? Yeah, definitely. That's really nice. I need to start trying some as well. Right, so I thought I'd just show you a bit around. This is our room. So there we go. Here's Mark sitting down with all the crew. Happy birthday, Gary. Um, and this is our table. I would love to like explore more around here. I this, would the too. saffron kitchen, oregano yeah. kitchen, sampling rooms we were in. Yeah, I like this. That's nice. I wonder what it's about. <laughs> Do you know what that's about? It's about life. What did you think? I thought it was Gary good. <laughs> like, very good. <laughs> Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, um, but we've got a good goodie bag. I think we need to give our passes back because oh, we're yeah. no longer visitors. Happy birthday, Gary. Gary, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> idiot or an accident. Yeah, and I've like commuted to London before for work and in the, in the heat of summer people pull the alarm all the time because they're fainted. Um, but then I heard someone shout like get off there's a bag or something. Yeah get off there's a bag that's why I heard someone shout. And, uh, and literally everyone immediately everyone stood up walked very calmly off and away from the train yeah, and, it was, uh, and out the station. And then they were like, someone said, oh, we've just been told to get off the train, what do we do? And they were like, oh no, you can go down to platform three, which is another platform in the station. I was like, no, mate. <laughs> I'm, not I'm, I'm getting an Uber. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, like, uh, like, I don't know if most people know, the other day, there was like an awful I think thing do. happened. Uh, there was, I think last, last week, or I don't know when this video is going to be put up, but last week for us, um, at Parsons Green, there was a... Um, some sort of bomb explosive found on a train in the morning. Yeah. Um, and I'm just not prepared to take that risk. So? Like, I think, like, it's, it makes you, I'm not like a, that much of a nervous person like that, but it kind of makes you a bit like on edge. It I does. I don't really like it. Well, it's very real, isn't it? And I'm just like, I just want to go home. Yeah, let's get an um, Uber, shall we? So, yeah, I'll sort out an Uber now. Confirm Uber. Thank you.